It's a familiar sight around Delmarva this time of year. Blue and silver pinwheels blowing in the wind. They're more than a shiny, colorful display. They're a symbol of hope. They're a symbol of a community ready to protect its most vulnerable members. The pinwheels are part of the Pinwheels for Prevention campaign. And Wendy Myers is the executive director of the Cricket Center who is with us this afternoon. Wendy, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for talking to us this afternoon. We, we, we want to find out about the pinwheels. First, tell me about the Cricket Center. What is the Cricket Center? So the Cricket Center is the Worcester County Child Advocacy Center. And we have child av advocacy centers all over the country. In fact, all over the world. There are almost 800 in the United States. And um, like I said, we represent Worcester County. And Cricket is actually an acronym. Um, and I'll tell you if you want to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it stands for Children's Resource Intervention Center Kids Empowerment Team. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the pinwheels uh, for prevention. Of course, we're talking about child abuse. And I want to, before we get into how the pinwheels connect to that, I want to talk about uh, child abuse on Delmarva. First of all, how, how prevalent it is and has the pandemic uh, increased the what you're seeing absolutely um you know obviously children have been like adults we've been um attempting to stay at home and be disconnected to others right so we know that that puts children at a greater risk we also know that children are spending much more time online um and um maltreaters know that as well so it's really important that we partner with parents with caregivers you know to provide that support and education so april every year is child abuse prevention month but this year it's even more important that we get the word out thank you for what you guys are doing mm -hmm. now let's talk about pinwheels tell me what's the pinwheel campaign so pinwheel for prevention is a national campaign um, there are pinwheels all over the united states and the pinwheel represents the carefree and, and uh, ch you know, happy childhood that we want for all children. This year, we're, we're really making the effort to, um, to work together to protect kids and to get information out about prevention and you know, how parents and caregivers can keep their kids safe. Um, in 2020, in the Tri-County area, last year, we received 2,993 referrals oh uh, for child abuse and neglect. So. Um, that's Worcester, Wicomico, and Somerset between the three counties, mm -hmm. uh, almost 3,000 referrals. Wow. And that's in a, in a year that we know children were not, you know, uh, with professionals like teachers like they normally would be. 36,000 children in that tri-county area. So that's over 8% um, of children that were referred to a child advocacy center, you know, um, for potential child abuse or neglect. Wow. That is staggering. Okay, so what do you hope comes from the Pinwheels program? Pinwheel is, like I said, a reminder about, you know, um, prevention, about uh, how we can get involved to, to um, talk to kids about ways they can stay safe, how we can talk to parents about, you know, making sure that they have parental controls on electronic devices, what to do if someone contacts them, whether it be, you know, um, in person or virtually, if someone contacts them and wants them to meet or um, wants to, you know, engage in conversation with them. Um, children don't realize that, you know, the, uh, the person on the other side of that um, camera may not be the, the person they think they are. So, um, you know, it's just really important to have those conversations. This is a, a difficult topic but uh, you see the people who are directly involved with this kind of a campaign. Does that drive your passion? No, oh, it certainly does. Um, I, I can't say enough about the professionals that, you know, come together um, for investigating and prosecuting child abuse and, you know, our, all of our partnering agencies, you know, we have this this team that comes around these children and families to not just protect them but to make sure that they get better make sure that they're safe and uh, it's just extraordinary the way our communities come together all right so april we're only halfway through april can people still get involved with this program absolutely please do you can contact me or you can contact your local child advocacy center they are like i said all over delmarva every county um, is required by the state of maryland um, to conduct investigations by way of a multidisciplinary team which means all those people that are 
required to do this work um, come together. And so we are required to do that. It is a non-funded mandate by the state, so we're not funded, but you know we do whatever we can. That means if you're able to make a donation to your local child advocacy center, no matter what county you live in, um, you can go online to nationalchildrensalliance.org and you can find your local child advocacy center and you can ask them how you might be able to get involved. At the Cricket Center, we have our eighth annual Walk for Kids coming up on this Saturday, um, April 17th. And uh, it's on the Ocean City Boardwalk on um, 5th Street. And this year it looks a little different because we can't all start at the same time, but uh, we'll be there from 12 until three. And uh, you can walk whenever you like, and you can go to our website, thecricketcenter.com and uh, learn all about that. We also plant uh, a, a huge pinwheel garden in the sand there at Ocean City on 5th Street. Nice. We plant one pinwheel that represents every child who was maltreated the previous year. Mm. So it's, it's an extraordinary display. Executive Director of the Cricket Center, Wendy Myers, thank you so much for all you do and thank you for joining us this afternoon. A non-funded state mandate. Isn't that incredible? Mm. And needs your support, needs your help.